Hi, Aries. Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back. If you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate you for coming back and all your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. Um, if you are one of my returning subs, you'll notice that I tweaked the format a little bit uh, going forward here in January to save us all a little bit of time. You'll still get the same amount of cards, but I have just, I'm going to lay them out a different way. So it sh saves us all a little bit of time. Okay. Um, also, I want to let you guys know that I just launched a Patreon page this month where I will be posting extended versions to all the readings that I do. So if you feel led to support me there, it's just a pledge of $3.33 and you get access to all 12, okay? If it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Please note that the reading is general and will not resonate with everyone. It is, they are, my readings generally love focused, but it can resonate on any relationship level. And you'll notice that I use the pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out, okay? Uh, as always, if the reading does resonate and you want a personal reading, then you can find my email address in the description box below the video. That's also where you'll find the link to my Patreon page. And of course, if it resonates, please hit the like button, leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2020. Well, let's do it. All right, I've been shuffling your energy in for about 15 minutes before I started recording. So it's in there. Then a few more shuffles in here, though, okay? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Aries. What's going on with Aries in love? For January 2020, or any relationship, friendship, partnership, family. Oops. Sun and the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Leo or wanting to get some happiness with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Want to nurture something? All right, let's go ahead and lay these out, Aries. How you feel about your person in January 2020? Temperance, currently in reverse. Could be dealing with Sagittarius or have it in your own chart. How your person sees you, the Queen of Swords, in reverse. Don't worry about the reversals because I will use my pendulum, remember, and uh, they might not stay that way, okay? How your person feels about you, ooh, the devil. What is up with that, Aries? Okay, well, we'll see. Uh, they might be wanting to release. Let's see. In the past, Aries, between you and this person, the Eight of Swords currently in reverse. The current energy between you and your person, the Seven of Wands, maybe a little defensiveness. The energy your person is bringing your way this month or most likely action, the world could be dealing with a fixed sign, uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, or even Capricorn, because this is Saturnian energy. All right. Your advice from Spirit Aries with this person, the Three of Cups, okay? And your outcome for January 2020, death. Could be dealing with Scorpio. Let's not freak out. Death is a great card. I love the death card. I am Scorpio dominant, but death for me is more about transformation than it is death. It can mean a literal death, of course, but I think that's more on the rare side. It depends, obviously. All right, overall energy, Aries. Ooh, nice. The Ace of Wands. Somebody's bringing the wand, Aries. All right, that's nice. Fresh new start, passionate new beginning. All right, Spirit. Upright or reverse the Ace of Wands, please. Temperance. The Queen of Swords. The Devil. 
The Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the World, the Three of Cups, and Death. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. Let's get these right. See there, all these are supposed to be in the upright. All right. So, yeah, like I said, a passionate new beginning is at hand here, Aries, with this Ace of Wands. This is, this is a fresh start, a new beginning with passion. It also can be communication. I mean, swords are more communication, but wands certainly can be. It's action. Somebody's taking action, okay? You want forgiveness and healing with this person, balance with this person. You want reconciliation with this person if you are on the outs. I think you probably are, Aries, and you don't like it. You want to restore this, okay? Again, you could be dealing with Sagittarius or have that on your chart. Your person sees you either as having cut them out or needing to make some kind of communication. They want you to communicate or they see you as communicating or you're just like kind of a very blunt communicator uh, to the point, not taking any crap. Okay. And like I said, you might have cut them out. All right. And you could have air in your chart as well. Libra in particular. They feel tied and bound to you, Aries, and uh, also they might be really sexually attracted to you. It could be, you know, there could be, this is how they feel about you, so I don't, if it's how they see you, I would say maybe you're addicted to something or have some kind of, you know, toxic energy about you, but it's how they feel about you. It's not necessarily uh, great because the devil can be toxic. However, this could be extremely sex, extreme sexual attraction and they are lusting after you. Or it could be that they just really feel tied and bound to you, Aries. They just can't seem to let you go. Okay. In the past, it looks like one or both of you were all tied up in your head, overthinking to the max. Okay. Probably ended in some analysis paralysis. And right now... Somebody is defensive. This is the mutual energy between you, the seven of wands. It is a defensive energy. Could be fighting for the connection, but I'm not picking that up. I think most of you are dealing with defensive energy. Either you're defensive, they're defensive, or both. All right. The energy your person is bringing your way this month is the world. So this could be closure. It certainly could be closure, especially with that death card. Okay. That could be closure. Um, or it could just be that they want to turn the page. This is lessons learned. Turn the page. Let's start. This is cycles ending, but also cycles beginning, even with death, with cycles ending. Everything's a circle, right? Life's a circle, the circle of life, you know? Uh, so yeah, it's circles ending and circles beginning. And uh, they may want to turn the page with you, start a new chapter with you. Maybe there's distance between you and they're going to travel to see you or you are going to travel to see them. But it could also be, for some of you, closure. Okay, so the action that Spirit spirit is advising you, okay, I believe, to go ahead and reconcile. This could be reconciliation. But this could also be Spirit actually advising you to go out and have a good time. All right? Could also be advising you that there might be a third-party situation. We'll have to get some more clarifying cards. I'm getting, I'm, I'm just repeating what I'm hearing. Okay, third-party situation for some of you. Uh, go ahead and reconcile with this person, go out, have a good time and try to see if you can, you know, get the temperance that you so desire, or it could be, you know, you need to go out, you know, with the girls or the boys and distract yourself in the meantime, while whatever's going on, but we'll have to get some more cards to clarify in the outcome. Like I said, this is either an ending closure, or it is a transformation of this connection. Okay. Things transforming. Let's see. Let's get some more cards. I'm interested to see where this is going. All right. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. January 2020, please. Two by two, Spirit, please. This is where you'll notice if you're returning that I've changed it a little bit. I'm going to use just this deck to clarify. Same amount of cards, but I'm going to pull them all from this deck all at once, okay? 
and it really does shave off about 10 minutes. All right, please clarify these cards, Spirit 2 by 2 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and Aries for January 2020. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, clarifying temperance is how you feel about them. We have strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. Ooh, and the three of swords currently in reverse. All right, how they see you with that queen of swords. Ooh, the ace of cups. And the lovers. Okay. Could be dealing with a Gemini. All right, how they feel about you with this devil card. By the way, you could be dealing with a Capricorn with that too. The Page of Wands. Oh, yeah. It's about lust, baby. They are extremely sexually attracted to you. All right. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, changes are coming. They feel lucky. I'm just going to, I'll finish laying the cards out and then I'll talk about them. All right. In the past, we have on top of the Eight of Swords, Judgment. Could be dealing with Scorpio and the Magician. There is a lot of Major Arcana in this reading. So this is not about just your choices and your person's choices. There is Divine uh timing divine uh, with this too there is there are divine forces at play here okay again you could be dealing with a gemini or virgo here the current energy between you and your person with the seven of wands we have the ten of swords currently in reverse and the page of pentacles all right and then the energy your person is bringing your way this month with the world the six of swords and the five of pentacles currently in reverse. Okay, your advice with that three of cups, the eight of cups currently in reverse, and the sun. Nice. Very nice. All right, and your outcome on top of death, the eight of swords in reverse, and the five of cups. Mm. We'll see. Don't fret. This might go reverse too. Overall energy, the queen of pentacles. Okay. Earth energy could be dealing with an earth sign. Also, I take the, the one underneath that as well because there we go. Okay. Okay. The queen of pentacles and there's balance here with the six of pentacles. Okay. Could be possibly I did just hear that somebody's giving to two. Maybe there's an earth sign on the side. I don't know. Uh, let's see. All right. Spirit, upright or reverse, please, the Queen of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Three of Swords. The Page of... No, the Ace of Cups. The Lovers. The Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, the Magician, the, the Ten of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, The Six of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Sun,
the Eight of Swords. And the Five of Cups. Yay, the Five of Cups is reversed, Aries. Let's turn that bitch around right now. All right, <laughs> let's do it. I'm not an Aries. I don't have any Aries in my chart, but still, let's turn it around. Turn that frown upside down, right? That's supposed to be reversed. That actually came out right. All right, I think we are all set here. Okay, yeah, so Aries, and let's, you know, with this ace here of wands, these are your overall energy cards, okay? So a new beginning with possibly an earth sign, okay? Could be somebody with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart. Doesn't have to be. Could just be a new beginning that's going to involve some nurturance and uh, and definitely love, abundance, um, you know, just watching things grow, waiting for things to grow. Uh, it's just an, an energy of nurturing, okay? Uh, an equal give and take, okay? New beginning that's going to be equal. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Aries, it looks like you are broken hearted about this person right now. This separation, you're holding back and you're trying to be strong, aren't you? You want this reconciliation so bad though, and it's killing you inside. I can see it. I'm sorry, but it looks like it's going to be good. I think your outcome is going to be good. All right. How your person sees you. Yeah, I think that they, they see you as someone who just you might have cut them out or they and now you now you wish you hadn't or uh, they cut you out, um, but they see you as love, a brand new uh, potential. They see you as potential for this. The lovers. OK, they I think they see you as some kind of soulmate energy or they just feel a very strong supernatural connection to you. They see that you could possibly have a new beginning. They may see that you want a new beginning, that you've decided that you want a new beginning. Okay, they may see you as a fair person, a truthful person with this Queen of Swords. Okay, male or female, it doesn't matter. Okay, but they see you, I think, as very fair and balanced, possibly with a sharp tongue. Okay, but that, you know, there's potential for great love when it comes to you. Okay, how they feel about you. Ooh, this is very interesting. Okay, I feel like, for me anyway, the the how they see you and how they feel about you is such a fine line. It very much overlaps. So seeing that they see this Ace of Cups here and the lovers and how they see you, I definitely feel like they have strong emotion for you. Okay. But I, I feel like they also do feel very like tied to you. Like they can't let you go. Okay. But mostly I feel this is very sexual energy. Okay. It's lustful. And with this page of wands, it's an extremely sexual card. Okay. They want, they're ready for it. They want the wand. All right. And they are hoping that things turn around. They're really hoping that the change that they've been hoping will happen, you hope that will happen, will actually bring the wand, Aries. That's what they're hoping for. This is also a card of uh, Jupiter. Very Sagittarian energy, okay? In the past, let's see about this, okay? Somebody was really, really overthinking. Could have been both of you, okay? Very tied up in their head. And maybe made a decision, uh, a very important decision to try to manifest something. Somebody that have, may have just been really up in their head trying to manifest something, possibly trying to manifest a, a resurrection before. Uh, like maybe you guys had split up in the past. And I feel like some of you have split up in the past and, and gotten back together. And then now you're in this split up energy again, maybe. Uh, but somebody was really, really tied up in their head. I feel like somebody was really trying to manifest something. Okay. And maybe they got it off the ground. Um, there was, but there was a final decision made, I feel, um, on something. Okay. It's going to be different for all of you. Again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini or Virgo. Okay. That could simply mean that. Um, right now, the energy between you and this person, there is a defensive energy here. Uh, looks like you guys have been through Ten of Swords energy. So hell yeah, there's some defensiveness. <laughs> Put Ten Swords on my back and see how defensive I am. All right. But right now you're coming out of that. Okay. You are starting to heal from this. Both of you are. Okay. And it looks like an apology may be coming, Aries. Either you will be extending it or receiving it. I feel. I feel an apology is coming for putting Ten Swords in your back. Okay. It better be good. 
There's a saying, your apology needs to be as loud as your disrespect was. I really stand by that. Like, you know, people try to give you a my bad for putting 10 swords in your back. I don't think so. I don't think so. Sorry. I'm getting, <laughs> getting a little riled up here. All right. Let's see. The energy your person is bringing your way this month, Aries. Okay. I feel like they want to turn the page with you. I don't feel like for most of you that this is closure. They want, I mean, yeah, they, it could be for some of you, a small few of you, it could be coming your way, giving you closure, sailing on the smoother waters. But you know what? I really don't feel that for the majority of you. Somebody wants to come in from the cold. Your person wants to come in from the cold. Did you put them in the freezer, Aries? Or did they put you in the freezer? Maybe they're going to let you out because you're the one heartbroken over here, right? So maybe they shut you out. And they want to let you back in, sail on into smoother waters with you, and turn the page. Lesson learned. Okay, could be distance. Just want to let you know, you may be traveling. This is also another travel card. So they might just show up on your doorstep and say, all right, come out of the freezer. They might open the freezer door. All right, you are being advised. Okay, yeah, I feel like it's okay. You're going to reconcile with this person. It's time to return. If you left Aries, you're being advised to return to this person. Okay, at least to give them closure. But I think this person might be your happiness and spirit's telling you. And I think you know it. You're heartbroken, right? You're heartbroken. You want to reconcile with this person. This is reconciliation too. So there's two cards of reconciliation here and a card of returning. So I think you're being advised. It's safe for you to return to this person. Um, and if you left them, you know, you, you can go ahead and go back. If they come back to you, I think they're telling you it's safe. It is safe. You could be having some vitamin D deficiency too. Maybe you need to get out, out in the sun Aries. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm in rare form today. All right. So your outcome Aries, uh, I do believe there's a transformation coming here, uh, this month with your person. You guys have been in some heavy energy, right? Very heavy energy, overthinking to the max, feeling very depressed or or just regretful and uh, disappointed, focusing on what's been lost rather than what you still have. And that's changing. Whoops. Don't you drop the cards, Jennifer? All right. So, yeah, it's changing. You guys are going to get out of your head. Get out of that energy. And I'll, you know what? This actually reminds me of what's happening this weekend, that great shift that's happening. There's a huge shift coming. I'm interested to see how the readings shift next month because... This is like probably the biggest astrological thing that's happening in our lifetimes, okay? With this Pluto-Saturn conjunction, exact, it's, they're actually conjunct right now, but they're not exact, exact. They'll be exact the minute uh, on Sunday. And the sun is there, Mercury's there. There's a huge party in Capricorn, okay? They all came for my birthday. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway... All that energy is going to cause a huge energetic shift. I can already feel it. And I feel like that's, you know, here's your shift. This, you're shifting from up in your head, tied up in your head, feeling uh, regretful and disappointed to the fog is lifting. You're getting clear. Okay. You're getting clear. It's transforming and you're going to, your frown's going to be turned upside down. You're going to start, you're going to turn around and see the two cups that are standing behind you. Two cups, the two of cups. Okay. So I feel that. It's good. It does. It's not all bright and shiny in your outcome, but it doesn't look terrible. And uh, we will be getting more cards on that in the extended. If you want to follow me over there, we'll look more to how your person feels about you, the energy they're bringing your way this month, your advice and the outcome. Plus you'll get a couple of Oracle cards if you want to come over there. Okay. So if not, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next month in February. And uh, if you're following me over to Patreon, I'll see you there. Thanks. Bye.